Hey what's up guys today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this fly this is a barracuda fly pattern that works amazingly well it's the most effective flies I have ever tried for barracuda it's made on a plastic tubing net with a piece of wire in the center with two hooks one in the gills and one in the tail here's the materials you're gonna be using we're gonna use uh, this tubing in chartreuse size 1 hooks, 30 pound wire, a 400 denier thread, solaris, stick on ice, red crystal flush and the bucktail on green. To start this fly we're going to use one hook and about 8 inches of wire. Once you get the loop on the hook we're going to bend the tip of the wire here. Take your tubing in about two centimeters slide the cable through the net and the hook as well until you get this the hook is in the center and the elbow is smiling alright now I have my cable going all the way through the, the net and let's go to the vise and finish this fly all right here i have my second hook on the vise i'm gonna attach i'm gonna add my thread then i'm gonna bring my next and um, pre-made material i have that is the body of the uh, kuda fly and I'm just gonna pull a little bit the wire to get the, the other hook tight on inside of the tubing. I'm gonna slide it back to the to the half of the shank of the hook here, of the first hook we have on the vise. We're gonna go and we're gonna place the tubing half of the shank of the hook. So once I see that part, it's already there. Just make sure the other hook is in the back have to be hanging in the same position. So I'm gonna slide it like it is. I'm gonna measure it right in the, in the middle of the shank. Pinch the wire with your hands. Slide it to the back. Lay it on top of the shank and make some wraps and capture the wire. So the next thing is going to be bend the wire back and make some wraps again. We're going to add some crystal flush, red crystal flush as gills on the bottom part. We're going to just touch some wraps here, slide it backwards and couple wraps again. Then I can cut this wire, leftover wire. I don't need it. I'm just gonna add some some glue on it. So from here we're just gonna let dry this glue. Okay, from here I'm gonna bring my thread to the front, and I'm gonna make couple just couple nuts here just like so the next thing we're gonna do is get the hook out of the vise and we're gonna slide the tubing backwards just looking behind where the other hook is we're gonna take the same position and we're gonna slide the true the the hook through the, the net measuring roughly trying to get half of the hook I got through already through the net if you can see there don't worry about the crystal flush you can slide her backwards later with a botkin or something I'm gonna take a piece of uh, old rod 
broken rod and and I'm gonna slide the crystal flash all the way backwards strand by strand so I'm about half of the shank measuring in the back the hook is centered in the back pinch it where you see the material is and capture the tips of the what I'm gonna do here now is cut my thick thread and I'm gonna add 140 I'm gonna cover the head of the fly then I'm gonna take the bucktail about one inch and a half of the bucktail and I'm gonna just spread it over the head very soft I go soft and then I start pulling tight while I'm adding some more just take the left over just make sure it is even then we're just gonna trim the excess other thing you could use in this part could be could be crafter chartreuse crafter so from here we're gonna just slide the thread flat over the rest of the material covering everything you see it's getting kind of flat I'm gonna finish here my thread This is time for adding the eyes. The next material we're gonna add is the Solaris thick formula right on top and on the bottom part too. So once you get a good shape, just bring your, your UV light and cure the head for about a minute. So from this point, we finish the head and the body, so we need to make the tail. So we're going to bring we're gonna take our our fly and we're gonna bring this part of the hook here and we're gonna just put it on our in the bias. From here we're gonna pinch the tubing, wrap your 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 thread and make some wraps. Then we're gonna take another piece of bucktail, same color, another clump. This time it's gonna be a little bit longer, like so. Place it back here and make some wraps soft, and then we're gonna pull the material back a little bit. 
So from here, we're gonna try to cover the material with a thread. So now take your time and trim all the excess that is here. Alright, something like that. So from here, we're going to add a little bit of flash of blue. Couple wraps. This part's a little bit tough because we are on the other side, backwards. So just one loop, trim. I made one loop here. I'm just gonna trim and to finish this fly, I'm gonna add a little bit of of solar is resin to the tail. I didn't cover the flash of it completely because I wanted to flash where my thread is. So here is the the finished product. You have the head of this little fish, the body tubing, and the tail. This is one of the effective flies for CUDA here in the salt. Alright guys, this is the end of this video and here is the final product. The final fly is here. Very flexible fly. Very effective as well. I'm not lying. I tried them and I caught Barracuda on this thing. And I hope you give some support to the channel. Leave thumbs up, leave a comment below. So guys, if you like this content, Please subscribe to the channel, make sure thumbs up to the video, any question, any other things you want to know about fly fishing and the salt, let me know in the comments below. If you go into the salt water or fishing to Punta Allen or somewhere else, make sure to tie some of them and you will catch a lot of barracuda with it. Thanks for watching the video, I will see you in the next time. Tight lines.